What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and we are back at it again with Boot Spine episode number four and the reason we're doing another episode is because you guys once again have been smashing on Instagram, sending us so many DMs and there have been some absolute gems of Boot Spines this week. So Blake, let's get right into it. First off, Big shout out to mans like Harry Mox, Finn Martin, Oren Donnelly, and also it's Tubbs. All you guys smashed out Sergio Ramos. Now, what is this situation? Because this is a big one. So Sergio Ramos, pretty much the biggest Tiempo legend. Seven Wero has actually been wearing the Hyper Phantom 3D F in training. So at first, he wore the Tiempo on his right foot. Then he wore the Hyper on his left foot. That's on the right foot to there. But then in training a day later, he wore them on both so very, very strange boot choice for Sergio Ramos. Big Tempo wearer has moved to the Hyvedim. What is this next one, Matty? Sergio Ramos, Real Madrid teammate Cristiano Ronaldo, probably the biggest headline player in world football right now. Yep. Back in pre-season and he is now officially in the lock-in let loose pack, which I think looks incredible in this black and orange colorway. So Ronaldo, first game of the season is going to be in this pack. But what about next? So obviously Neymar has joined PSG officially and what we can see on the left side on the main picture there he's wearing his written the stars vapor 11 but on PSG Instagram Neymar was seen wearing the motion blur Magista Obra 2 so weird that PSG would post that on their Instagram he's actually still wearing his written the stars vapors what is the next one Matty? Well, maybe the reason that Neymar actually left to go to PSG was because of this man, Lionel Messi. He didn't want to be number two anymore, but Barcelona's number one has to be Messi. Now, the interesting thing about Messi's boots is he's now wearing the new Ocean Storm colorway, but his own Messi version, which I don't really agree with. So many kids out there want these same boots as Messi. Now, why these might look the same, they're actually quite different with the Soul Play and also some Messi branding as well. So it's not all that simple for Messi, but who's up next? Now on Twitter, Vincent Comedy posted this saying, annoying situation, great defenders boot being discontinued by Adidas, don't change a good product, keep them coming. He's talking about the Stellapak A16.1 leathers. Now he's been wearing that boot a lot. He's pretty much a boot free agent. He hasn't been contracted with Adidas or New Balance or anyone. He's been wearing the A16.1 leathers and he just found out that they're not gonna continue these boots. Great boots, but they're not gonna continue them. What is this next one, Matty? Well, a player that's been having a great preseason so far is Liverpool's new silent seller. Now, what he's wearing on his feet are the X17 Plus Pure Speeds, but in a colorway that we haven't actually seen released yet. Now, I'm going to say yet because these aren't a special limited edition for him. I reckon these are going to be a future colorway, and it's almost black and green ones. So don't be surprised seeing these coming out in the near weeks. So the next player, one of the biggest Hyperion Phantom 3 DF wearers last season, has switched to something different. Now, a lot of people have seen on Instagram what he's actually wearing. He's wearing the Superfly 5 from the Hyperion Phantom 3 DF, so it makes sense. One of the fastest players in the Premier League and still one of the fastest in world football. Makes sense that he's wearing the Superfly. What is this next one, Matty? Well, so we go from a player like Vardy, who's been in the hype of him for such a long time, big change up to the Superfly, but this guy makes so many changes week in, week out, we don't really know what's going on, but we can say that the most likelihood thing that can happen is he's probably going to be signing for Puma with their 117.1. This is what it looks like it's going to be, blackout colorway, and the reason we think he's going to be signing for Puma is because this is the first time his actual logo has been printed onto the boot. Now, the next boot spot is very, very interesting. You've probably seen it. This is Lucas Podolski playing for his Japanese side. He's wearing the F50 at a 04. But this is a special Captain Sabusa design. So as you can see on the forefoot there on both sides of the boot, someone has made a design on those solar blue F50 at a 0. So these F50s came out at the start or the end of 2013. Very, very old boot and Lucas Podolski himself is known to wearing what he wants. So that's very, very interesting to see that he's wearing these boots. Next one, Manny. Well, back to the Premier League and we've got Masonda. Now, the interesting thing about Masonda is that he pretty much wears whatever colorway he wants on his Nike Vapor 11s because he goes and gets Nike IDs. One of my favorite ones you can actually do is the orange and black colorway, which he's been seen wearing previously. But at the moment, he's in some blue and orange ones and I think they look incredible. Next player we see is Lord Bentner. Now, Bentner has been a big, big vapor wearer. As you can see on the left, he's wearing the motion blur vapors there, but on the right for Rosenborg, he's been wearing a blacker Adidas boot. We're pretty sure they're the Ace 16.1 boots. Very, very interesting to see he's wearing those. Next one, Matty. Well, we've got Per Murdozaka, and this guy is pulling some serious strings. He is saying Adidas. I don't want any of the boots that you are bringing out on the market right now. So he is getting a pair specially made for him. Now he's wearing the A17.1 leathers, but in the Ocean Storm Pack colour, which you just simply can't get 
I love that pair of foot boots and I love this colorway, but if I said Adidas, can I get hooked up with a pair of these? They'd straight up say no. So massive thumbs up to Merzaka. Obviously a pair of boots that maybe company wants as well, because he said he likes the leather aces. He can't get himself a pair. So fair play to Merzaka. Now the next player is pretty much the same situation with Juan Cuadrado for Juventus. He's been wearing the X17.1 leathers. They don't make these in retail. We can't actually get the leather versions of the Dust Storm or the Ocean Storm Ace and X anymore. But as you can see on the right there, he's been branding the X17 Plus Pure Speed Ocean Storm boots. But as you can see on the left, he's wearing the X17.1 leathers. He can wear what he wants like Werner Saka. What is this next player? Well, sticking with the X17 Plus Pure Speed, we've got David De Gea for Man United goalkeeper. Now, last season we saw him a lot in the X16.1 leathers. Yep. But he's changed his time. He's gone for a little bit of an upgrade in terms of price and level of eliteness. He's now gone for the 17 Plus Pure Speed. Bit of a flash choice for a goalkeeper, but to be fair, he's got great distribution, amazing talent. So if he wants to wear kind of legs covered, solely yellow boots, then fair play. Next player we see is Marco Parola for Lazio in Italy, central midfield. He was a big Mazzuna Morelli wearer along with Thiago Motta for PSG. But he's been wearing the Team Legend 7 boots in training and in pre-season games. So it's interesting to see he's gone from a classic leather boot to a modern day leather football boot. Who is this next player, Matty? We've got James McLean, massive vapor wearer. Now before, a couple seasons ago, I remember when there was a special pair of vapors actually made. They were the old school R9 ones. They were a bit of a limited edition release and he actually bought them himself off, I think it was an Instagram account. He bought them himself with his own money yep. and he started wearing them and that's exactly the same case now. He's now wearing the Neymar Mercurial Vapor 11s. Really nice looking football boots, so I don't blame him. If you want to wear the nicest colorways, sometimes you might have to buy them yourself. But this next player that we're going to be looking at, that Blaze will be clicking on, scored six goals against me when I was about 14 years old. I was playing centre half, he's come up against me and he has torn me apart, pulled my pants down, scored six. What's he wearing now? Well, he also scored in the Community Shield, however, Chelsea did lose, but he's been wearing this Superfly 5. Last year, he pretty much wore the Magista over 2 all season. But now he's back in a boot which will suit his game a bit better with the Mercurial range. What is this next one, Matty? We've got Mela, and Mela, interestingly, is actually wearing the remakes of the Predators in that champagne colorway, incredible looking football boots. Me personally, I don't think they're the highest quality, but the rumors at the moment is that Adidas are actually bringing the Predator back for real next time around with high quality K leather, which is what we all want. Now, this last player has been wearing six different boots in preseason. It's Romelu Lukaku on the left there with the Manchester United third shirt. He's been wearing the X16.1 leathers and that turbocharged colour. Like De Gea and like a lot of players sticking with that boot, he's been wearing the Nemesis as well, the X17.1, the Hybrid Phantom 2, the Hybrid Finish 2 and the Vapor. So what boot will Lukaku wear for the start of the 17-18 season? Who knows? But guys, that is it. Episode 4 of Boots Spoon all wrapped up for you guys. Remember, keep sending us in those DMs on Instagram. Then you may be featured like we did in the intro today. So keep them coming because who knows, after a couple weeks in the Premier League or worldwide football, there might be some big boot shocks as well. But guys, that is today's video all wrapped up for you. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as always. We'll see you next time.